Okay, so this is a video comparing Cozy Flame with Furnacite. They're both 25 kilogram bags. Uh, this video will uh, primarily focus on the Furnacite, but this is Cozy Flame, this is what it looks like. And this is Furnacite, and this is what it looks like. That's a small piece of Furnacite there. Uh, I've just compared it to the Cozy Flame. Obviously the Cozy Flame's a good bit bigger there. Um, similar shape. There's it from an aerial view. And we'll just go ahead and weigh the furnace out first. And that's 42 grams per piece. And the cozy flame is 109 grams per piece. So 109 grams divided by 42 gives us 2.59, about two and a half times difference in size. So I'm going to add five kilograms here of the furnace out directly into the stove. And we'll get it all leveled out. Don't forget to use your wife's best green marigold glove because she will be super happy at that. And that's it all leveled out. Now, I will be using a fire log. It burns for about two hours as my control. So every time I do a test, I'll use the same log. So it should hopefully catch. And before we start, I'll obviously clean the stove glass. Now, there are different ways to clean the stove glass. You could use actually just ash from the ash pan. Uh, you can see the difference there, it's very dirty. Uh, very hard to get off actually, but using this cream is super, super easy. And I'll tell you what it is very shortly. But minimal effort, comes off really, really easy. Doesn't scratch the glass. I used to clean it with the ash, but uh, I do think it scratches the glass slightly, not massively. Um, but this stuff's way better. You can see it just coming off there so easily. And look at that. Really clean. There's the evidence. And here's what I was using. It was SIF. I would say just make sure to use a, a wet paper towel to dry, uh, clean off the excess residue. Okay, so this is me just starting to light the stove with the fire log. And the best way is to try and light each corner. I forgot to light the back corner there, so it's quite hard to get out without getting burnt. But that's me having that all four corners. As I say, this is a test. Never tried this before. Um, but yeah, it's catching very nicely. And the aim of the game here is to try and get the fire log to eventually uh, light the furnace site. I just put the air up a wee bit, I have a control there at the bottom of the stove just to increase the air. And that uh, knob there also increases the air from below, so from underneath the coal. So I've opened it a little bit too. Uh, the bottom one channels the air down the front of the glass and we'll just start the timer. So this is uh, speeded up a little bit and you can basically see uh, there's about seven, eight minutes in. It's quite a good flame off it. I had to knock the air down there a little bit. Um, and, and just on that, the more you knock the air down, uh, the longer the log will last, although your glass may get a little bit dark. So I try to find a happy medium for the purpose of filming. But if you wanted a wee bit more heat to, to last a little longer, you could knock your air down a little bit. And there's me Marvin, my dog. So let's uh, just get a look at the flame now. We're about 31 minutes into the test. And good flame. Yeah, burning very well. No real evidence there that the furnace had started to catch. Uh, it is quite hard to get to uh, get caught fire. And again, I've cut a little bit of this clip short because uh, there's not much change. But again, we'll stop here with the R mark and get another look. You notice there the stove fans on. The stove fan actually came on at 20 minutes. If you watch back, you'll see. Uh, it kicks in when the stove hits about 60 degrees at the flue. So uh, that's a good sign that the stove's starting to really warm up. And you can see there, it's now over 100 degrees um, on the stove fan. I have a temperature gauge on the flue. And I've also one on the side of the stove there, but you see it's a good flame still, so we're like an hour in. And looking good. So let's fast forward then.
and see what our flame looks like. Still looks good, you know, we're 1 hour 22. You know, still a nice flame out of it. Uh, I'll just check here and see uh, what sort of temperature we're getting, just to verify. Okay, so we're at the hour and a half mark. Still a decent flame off it. And as you can see, you know, if you can see that, our stove uh, has started to heat up. It's almost in the good uh, hot zone. So uh, that's good. That's just off one little fire log. You can obviously just burn them on their own. So let's whiz on a little more. And you'll see that the fire log eventually burns out. As the flames start to dwindle down. I'll not spoil it for you, but I know what time it's going to happen at. It's going to happen very shortly. And that's pretty much it done at 1 hour and 43 minutes. As you can see, the furnace site has started to glow a little bit at the bottom. Um, so we'll just check it here. Not much to look at really. It has caught and no more. Um, I don't know if you can see that temperature just over the 100 degree mark so we will uh, crack on then so now we're at 2 hours and 6 yeah, it's really starting to catch now uh, the furnace side is glowing which is great because that is what we want I say still at the 100 degree mark if anything it's dropped a little bit since uh, the fire log stopped burning but we sort of expect that until the furnace side catches and you can see there, just off the laser, it was about 78 degrees. The front of the stove here. I think that was about 35. And then inside the box is about 180, 183. There you go. So... So... As you can see, nice glow. The furnace side's really caught now. We're approaching the uh, four hour mark. See the majority, if not all, the furnace side has uh, caught. And well, we're starting to get good temperature now. We're up over the 100. We're heading towards the uh, warm zone. Uh, it says it's 110. So, um, see that's about four hours in. Starting to get some really decent heat out of the stove. I uh, say right in the centre was 307 and you can see on the side uh, that's what you want, you want that one to be warmer on the side and the flue because then it shows that it's keeping the majority of the heat in and as you can see I set this wee test up, you can see the temperature there on the right hand side it hit the max of about 26.2 now that thermometer is fairly close to the stove so it's not room temperature room temperature is probably about 23, 24 uh, the lights went out here at midnight thanks to Alexa so uh, Thankfully, I remembered, came down, turned them back on, and you can see there, uh, we're about the 10 hour mark. So, the stove's been lit for 10 hours, just with that one little uh, log lit, and we're still sitting there, 22 degrees. So, still decent heat out of the stove. Stove fan stopped. Stove fan stopped there, just shy of the uh, 12 hour mark. Which is really good considering it started at 20 minutes um, that's a really really good uh, result so some really good heat out of the stove there for a prolonged period of time and this is what the stove looks like um, near the 14 hour mark uh, I don't know if you could see there there was actually some slight glowing embers in the corners far left and far right I was trying to just get a reading off the top there. It's about 43 degrees at the flue, 38 degrees at the front. And the front of the glass there is about 50 degrees. So, I mean, you know, 14 hours in, we're still uh, fairly warm, actually. Um, you know, if this was wood, this would have been cool ages ago. I'd say 50 degrees here at the side. Trying again here, 54, so... Again, I'd say temperature is 9.8, just for your information. Because obviously the colder it is outside, it may affect the uh, room temperature there. 
But I mean, the amazing stuff that furnace site really does keep the heat in. 41 degrees at the top of the stove still. And we'll just check inside the stove here. And as you can see, it is 91 degrees at its hottest in that far right corner. Of course, that would have been the last bit to catch. And we'll just try this far left corner. And that's 111. 111 degrees, we're almost 17 hours in. Um, as I say, the stove itself still has a little bit of temperature. Not very much, what's that about? 25, 20, 28 degrees, something like that. Let's test it. Yeah, 28.8 coming out the flue. The rest of the stove top the same. Just this is how the, the wee nuggets end up in the morning. They look like they're solid, but when you touch them, they just fall apart. So that's the only thing. You will have a bit of ash to clear in the morning, but you know, can't complain. And then a wee test here, just on the wall. So the wall's 21 degrees either side of the stove. I'll just verify that for you on this side as well. Yep, 21.1. And the centre is 28 degrees. Just thought I would take a wee look at my uh, Drayton Weiser setup. And uh, when I'm looking at the temperatures last night, uh, the temperature of the room hit 21.2 degrees. That was with the living room door lying open as well. That was at midnight. And I actually lit the stove about four o'clock uh, in the afternoon. So you can see a uh, really, really good temperature out of that. And as you can also see, even now, it's just before uh, 12 o'clock. Um, it's 19.8 degrees. Uh, it's really held the temperature well. As I say, the stove is still, you know, a little bit of heat in it. Uh, the wall's still quite warm. Um, so, uh, yeah, the furnace site, good result. Good result. So the furnace site works out at about £16.75 a bag, and the fire dog is about £1.50. Uh, that means that, essentially, last night's burn cost about £5. Um, it'll be interesting to test the cosy flame, because the cosy flame is only about £10 a bag, uh, but I don't know if it will last as long. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll do another video in about three weeks. Hopefully you find this video useful. Um, throw me a wee comment. Let me know what you think of it. If there's anything you want to add or anything else you'd like me to test. And don't forget to add my channel if you want to see the next video. Cozy Flame, here we come.